Welcome to episode three. Uh, today, I'm gonna walk you through some more skin detail. So if you haven't had enough of it, check out episode one and episode two of this uh, vlog that I have going on here. And stay tuned for more randomness that comes from my shop and updates of other stuff, like the reason I'm so tired and red looking. Uh, I just climbed Mount St. Helens, which is Washington's, you know, known for uh, blown up volcano. But now we're back in the shop, so let's do this. Episodes one and two cover skin detailing and some other little details around the jawline. Here I'm going to show you more or less a time lapse of how I'm going to do the neck, which will be a lot of the same. Then we'll get into covering some of the tools I'm using to detail this in much more detail. approach this carving much like I do with any of my wood carvings and that was using a handheld Dremel 4000 which I'll show right here and now the Dremel 4000 is perfect because you can get into the tight recesses you can also use obviously the little router attachment which I'll also show right here and those little assorted tips that you see can really give you know life to your actual carving now another useful tool is a four inch angle grinder what you didn't see is during the process of actually laminating the foam pieces together uh, those were basically roughed out with a four inch angle grinder with a 50 grit uh, flap disc. Now the flap disc can actually make the foam really heat up fast and wearing eye protection is essential and a respirator because it likes to throw hot pieces of foam. Don't recommend getting that on your skin. But it does make quick work of it, kind of ease through it like cotton candy. Now using the angle grinder allowed me to get down quickly to what you see here, which is then gone through with the Dremel tool. Now after the angle grinder, you also want to kind of get it flattened out before you start the finish work with the Dremel. So now that required a orbital sander. It does a good job of getting the base nice and flat so then I can draw on it to create my scale pattern. So I'm new to foam carving. Uh, I've taken it on much like I have for wood carving. So if you have any insights or would like any more of my tool list, um, please comment below. And don't forget to share and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it's a lot of fun to create these videos for everybody. So. Please stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 